Hi there, we are the morning of the 2020 Galahar Women's Premiership Final. Alongside me, I have Renee. G'day Renee, how are you going? Morning, good thanks. That's good. <laughs> hey, um, congratulations on Hamilton Old Boys making it through to the final against the Melville this, um, this afternoon. Uh, big match up for you ladies. Um, Melville have won the last two titles. Hamilton Old Boys the, uh, three years ago. Um, how, do, how do you think this season's gone so far for you? Oh, I think um, due to circumstances we've had a really awesome season. Um, we've only gotten better and be better and stronger and stronger as a team, especially our culture. Um, it's just a shame that it is a, such a sh short season. It's ending uh, after today. I would have loved to have seen how far we could have gone as a team the full season, but um, just stoked to be where we are today. It's also the Farah Palmer Cup as well, which I'm sure you're hoping to um, make the Waikato side again um, coming up. Um, <laughs> Any aspirations for that as well, um, considering that's a different format this year? Um, I think it's quite an exciting season because there are a lot of players available, like a lot of Black Fern players available, so it just um, will give a lot of strength and knowledge and um, to our younger players coming through, like myself, being around those kind of players, um, I'm really excited, hopefully, to be a part of it. Yeah, so just uh, going back to uh, uh, round two against Melville, mm -hmm. um, anything you can take away from them beating you in that game earlier on in the season? Anything you've sort of tried to work on from them? Um, I definitely think that was an awesome game and only being round two and seeing what we could do against them then, I'm excited to see what we can do this afternoon. Um, it was a lot of... A lot of little mistakes on our end that I think we've managed to kind of fix up within the last couple of weeks, so I'm excited to see those being fixed. It's quite similar actually to what Stacey yeah. said on Tuesday um, about her side, yeah. uh, Melville, saying that they've made a few errors as well. Yeah. Um, so to them. What, um, other than your team environment this season, what's been um, something else really positive about your side? Um, I definitely think having groups come on board. Um, obviously he started women's rugby at Hog and in Waikato, so it's pretty exciting to have him come back over from overseas and put um, all his knowledge and everything he knows about the game into us girls. So, I think that's cool. so personal highlight for you for the season? Uh, probably being able to play a full season for Hull, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's been pretty awesome. Like yeah. I know, I was supposed to go back to Japan um, for a season and it meant I would have missed club again, but I'm actually kind of happy the way you know things have turned out because I've got to have a full season against a lot of my sisters. Quite funny that um, considering the mess that we've had this season with COVID, yeah. um, how many players like yourself, men's players as well, um, that have said that, how much they're enjoying being yeah. back in New Zealand yeah. playing club rugby. Yeah. Um, so, good. so there's a, quite a bit of positive out of that. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just great to see. Anyway, Renee, thanks very much for your time today and um, good luck with this afternoon. Cool, thank you. Yeah. <laughs>